opportunity to meet his favorite band of all time, Metallica. We are now outside the University of Oregon Bookstore Warehouse. I'm gonna go in and tell him what's going on. Okay, we're getting ready to head in. Hey, this is Dave and we're in New York City. And we're on our way right now to the world famous Staten Island Ferry. My sister Danielle has no clue. She was picked to interview Derek Jeter tomorrow at Yankee Stadium. So come on, we're gonna go surprise her. Okay, that's the ferry right up there. Keep the camera down, she might see us. Hey, is Chris back here? Dude. You need to step out here right now. You're going to meet Metallica, oh, man! Christ! Yes, man! Christ! Metallica! Oh my god! Oh, dude, we're headed out. We gotta oh. go right now, dude. We gotta go out, man. Oh, we're going to meet Metallica, god. man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Hello, man. Uh, I, dude, I'm coming. Oh, I gotta get my stuff! She's right through those doors. I'm gonna push him open and I'm gonna yell surprise. Congratulations, Danielle. You got picked to interview Derek Jeter in Yankee Stadium tomorrow. Yes, you did. She's changed almost everything. So in her real. And her real also inspired me. I too. love her songs. I Great love her way. I want to be like that. Last night, I dreamt that this limo came to my house to take me to meet the one celebrity that's been my total inspiration. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not a dream. Fanatic. You sent in your videotape to Fnatic. You were chosen. Now meet your inspiration. They have a quote in one of the songs, Fuel, it said, Whoa, 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 yeah. And yeah, there's Platanity in there, but I'm taking that as a, you know, take the chance, expand yourself. You're never going to grow if you're not willing to take a chance. This room is my safe haven because it is surrounded by Metallica, and Metallica represents everything pretty much that I believe in and that I love, and it gives me inspiration. I really dive into the lyrics and I really take in exactly what they're saying, and it's, I take it as life's lesson. great player and I love what he brings to the game. It inspires me to play. I played for a women's softball team at my college and last year I was in a car accident after spring training. Alcoholic because the music is powerful, it's deep, it's, it's, it's everyday issues that, that he puts his perspective into and it's stuff that I can like totally relate to. to the music and probably a lot of us know the words and all that but I I honestly can't I honestly can't get enough I've been a Yankee fan my entire life and Derek Jeter fan also he plays with like so much heart he plays so hard he dedicates himself and you really see that in every little play he does no matter how trivial it is he runs out every ball he does everything he can to like catch a fly behind second base and he just doesn't give up. Some of Metallica's lyrics that, that, that they write in their songs, that there's a lot of thoughts and there's a lot of life lessons. And there's a song called Carpe Diem Baby, and then the, there's a lyric that says, live to win, dare fail. And I, what I take from that is go for the top, go for it all. I'm really, really shy. And my little boy, I don't want him to grow up scared to take chances and scared to you know try something new. Don't be afraid of the unknown. My son's name is Stephen James. And I attach the name James to him because James is the voice of the group, which I, I believe and love so much. And it's my kind of little honor. The two greatest things that I have in my life are my little boy and Metallica, and I want them joined. And that was the way that I saw fit. Wow. Look at his 
Exactly. So did you pack my bag, my mommy? No, I think she she did. I called her up this morning. I said, you have to pack a bag for Danielle? Uh, is is when I got to sing with Jason at the uh, at the concert. They're doing a song called Fade to Black, and he we made eye contact. And it was, you know, I was like, oh my God, you know, Jason's walking over to me, you know? And uh, so he walks up to me and we're about four or five feet away and I'm singing the words and he's singing the words and there's this exchange of spirit. You know what I mean? It's just as much as, as I'm meaning the song, he's meaning it and, and we're, I'm giving and he's taking and vice versa. And then we got real close and we actually touched foreheads a couple times. This has been one of the greatest days of my life and I can't wait for it to start tomorrow. Interview Jeter, be in Yankee Stadium, watch the game. But for now I'm really tired and I'm going to get to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Well, right, I'm gonna cry. Probably get in trouble with the lights here. A lot of people like Jeter because of, you know, pretty face and everything like that, but. For the top, don't settle for second. If I had settled for second, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be able to have a chance to realize my dream. Derek brought a lot to. Ever. All right, I'm going in now. To you may not remember, and that's totally cool because I know you guys interact with just you know millions of fans worldwide. May 18th, Portland, Oregon, on the Low Tour. Uh, Drain fade to black. Me and you made eye contact. <laughs> What's up, man? What's happening? How you doing? How you doing? What's going, man? <laughs> Kirk. I'm Kirk. How you doing? My name's Chris. Right. Obviously, I'm just in awe of, of your guys' <laughs> presence. Is uh, are Lars and, and Jason anywhere around? Fired. Sacked him instantly. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Lars is stuck in traffic and James is stuck in the audience, or Jason's stuck in the audience. Jason's right? in our laundry. <laughs> yeah? Someone's got it. It's his turn. I want to take a chance just to thank you guys for putting so much in effort into your music and, and, and just being there and right on. sticking together and, you know, a lot of groups aren't, you know, making it and you guys are... Hey, you know, we don't know nothing else, man. Yeah, we just do the best we can. <laughs> this is so yeah. nuts. I can't believe I'm talking to you guys. I, I personally take a lot of your, your lyrics that you put in the songs, and I, and I apply them to life lessons. I really do. You take them? Where are you taking them, man? I do. Um, really? Are the police after you yet? No, no. Uh, speaking of Carpet Diem Baby, um, you'll live to win, dare fail. Uh, I, I'm taking it as, as strive for the top, man. Don't don't settle for second. You got to go. You got to constantly reach, or, you, you know, you're never going to... Well, basically, it's uh, live each day as though it's your last, because one day it will be, you know? Totally. I, I have a little boy, and so I'm taking these lessons I'm getting from you guys, and I'm instilling them in, in my own son, and w what I've done is I brought a picture of him. Uh-oh, scary. Wow. And his... Uh, He's pumped full of Metallica. Yes, point. he is. Yes, he is. We sing Fuel together in the car. He's a Metallic kid. Yes, he is. His middle name is James. All right. Uh -huh. And I want to tell you that. Awesome, man. Um, it, it, it really means a lot to me, your guys' music. And Stephen is, is his name, Stephen James. And Metallica are the two biggest things in my life. And I wanted to be able to bond them together. Awesome. Being a dad is like a big deal, man. Yes, You're it is. You're like, that's a little sponge right there, man. Yes, it is. Whatever goes in, you know, yep. you got to control a bit of it. The values and inspiration that I get from you guys, I pass on to my son. How? I, I know you, you just had a... I got a little girl now. Do you think your music is, is going to inspire her as, as she grows, or is you that going to be... I don't want to feed her head with all the Metallica stuff. It'll be a natural thing. I just want things to happen naturally around her. She'll definitely love music. I mean, she's no doubt got 
uh, lungs from my side of the family. I mean, she's a screamer. How do, you, how do you feel about listening to your own music? It's, it's pretty interesting. We always kind of sit back and start laughing, you know? Like There's these definitely kids, some interesting yeah. parts we've written. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like the Justice for All, it's like, where did that come from? Yeah. What were we thinking? And But at the time, that was it, and that's what we felt. Yeah. So you go with how you yeah. feel, you know? But yeah. they were doing, it was a, it was mandatory Talica, you know, yeah, and they A had, to Z. Like A to Z. We're trying to figure out what the next song was, you know? <laughs> and uh, we got a lot of damn songs, man. Yeah, you a do. Lot of, yeah, a lot you of do. songs. Do you, do you guys have favorite songs that, of, of your own? Overall thing that should not be, I love Carp D and Baby, I love Fixer, uh, uh, you know, Fight Fire with Fire. They've always just, you know, just the different moods. I love Unforgiven too as well. I want to uh, I want to thank you guys for your time. I mean, I mean, I know I, I, how busy you guys are, and I appreciate it. All right, bro. Lars, buddy, how you doing? Good. Heard you guys got stuck in traffic, <laughs> Jason. How are you, buddy? What's new? Uh, this whole this whole experience is is what's new, man. Is it? Yes, it is. I really appreciate you guys taking your time out to do this because I know you're busy. I know you're busy. Um, wow. Are you like auditioning for the VJ job? Dude, you did really good. You're doing good. They should hire you. Yeah? You kick everybody yeah. else's ass already. Very good. Guys, this is the man. This here's the man. How do you guys feel about listening to your own music? For me, a lot of times what I hear is distorted by the memories of what happened when that was being recorded. So it's like your mind goes back to a particular point in time where you remember in 1988 when we were recording Injustice for All, this was kind of what was going on in my life and so on. So that has a tendency to play a key role in how you listen to stuff that you've done before. Hard to step back and really be objective, right? Yeah. Like something. Do, you have a, do you have a favorite song? I love playing Sad But True. I love playing, um, I would say, I love playing some of the newer stuff just because we're still exploring it. Um, you may not remember, and that's totally cool because I know you guys interact with just you know millions of fans worldwide. May 18th, Portland, Oregon, on the Load Tour, uh, Drain Fade to Black. Me and you made eye contact, <laughs> and uh, this is fat. This is real okay. big. Um, you you walked over to me. And I was singing it directly to you. You're singing it back to me. You're least sure we did a couple touches of the forehead. Um, it was when I was walking around the outside of the stage thing? Yeah, it was right during Fade to Black. Cool, man. And that, I mean, I was on Newstead High for like a month, man. Yeah, I was just like, oh, Jason this, Jason that. Sorry, Lars, but I mean. <laughs> You're not gonna like pull out a ring or anything? No, 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 no. No, actually, 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 what I am gonna pull out, that, that really inspired me. I mean, that, that really left me to a new level. Um, I don't play a bass, but I'm learning to play guitar. Cool, and I went home and, and I really took it to learn how to play the guitar more so that one day I could be at A level, not the biggest level, but maybe A level, to where I'm gonna have a fan and I'm gonna be able to personally express the same wow. thing that I got from you. Wow, very cool. And I wanted to tell everybody the story that I could, as many, you know, yeah. as many people as I could, it was real moving. And the article got printed <laughs> in Metal Edge magazine. It's really Very cool. Very cool, Chris. Thank you. Very cool, um, man. Thanks for the good words. It's, I'm glad that we were able to you know, have that thing. That's what it's all about for me, too, man. So this, cool. And well, you, guys, you guys go out and rock those guys, man. Chris, that's it in the house! You, you, know, you know they're waiting to see you, buddy. You know it. Lars, go tear out the skins, buddy. Go cool. tear out the skins. Nice one. Put me in the I'm ready to play. Not.